morning guys I thought I would do a fun little day in the life style vlog as a freelance illustrator my days are pretty different for the most part from day to day so I thought it might be nice to start a little vlog series and kind of document my typical daily life so this morning I got up super early I don't know why my body just decided to do that so I think I was up at like 4 and I had this idea in my mind to make a painting of Amsterdam. Right now I'm doing a fun little challenge on Instagram which is 20 days of just summer inspired illustration and I find challenges really help me kind of make sure that I take some time to paint for myself and paint for fun because I often get really busy with client work and then I don't take as much time to paint things just for fun so doing challenges is a really great way for me to just relax a little bit throughout the day and um, having an audience kind of keep you accountable to doing it is really good too. So today's theme is a city and I have been wanting to paint Amsterdam for a long time. So here was my first sketch. I saw some photos where they had like tulips all over and then the buildings in the background but then as I was sketching I felt like the tulips were a little bit too much. So then I transferred it to this. So you can see the tulips are a little bit less and then I have the buildings a little bit more detailed in the background. And then from there, I kind of felt like I wanted some people in there because biking is such a huge part of the culture in Amsterdam and that is obviously one of the things that you remember it by and like the bridges and everything. So then I took my iPad and I made this sketch out of that. So I just took a photo of my previous sketch, put it on my iPad and then traced over it. I could change up the composition and with this sketch now I can print it out and then paint that. So that's what I'm going to do today and then I just have a whole ton of client work to do so I'm a little bit stressed out but I have a lot of exciting projects in the pipeline and it's very exciting and very nerve-wracking because I want to make sure I can stay on top of everything. So this is my desk situation right now. As I mentioned, I was up super early, so I was sketching here this morning. These are some preliminary sketches for a kid's book that I'm working on. It is my first kid's book, so I'm really excited to get going on that. And this is kind of a little peep into my studio. I have some projects here. This is my calendar that I made last year for this year. Uh, and then I have my productivity planner. I have some little painting that I did here. Some little photos I pulled out of a magazine. This is one of my favorite illustrations. It's by a famous artist called Paul Collet. And then I just have some plants, random stuff, paint. This is a phone case collaboration that I'm doing right now. I'll leave the link below if you guys want to check that out. Recently I created these book covers for an author named Bianca Hegler and it was so nice to work with her on these. I created the illustration and the design of the covers. So I got them in the mail a couple days ago and I'm just so happy with the way they turned out and I love actually the way they look together. So this one is called 120 months and then this one is called No Dark No Stars. You can find them on Amazon. This is another fun project that I did. I created some illustrations for Clean Eating magazine. So I have this just kind of on display in my studio. So this is a an article about um, inflammation and some different foods that help you sort of fight inflammation. You have some mushrooms, some snow peas, some salmon, some spinach, and then where's the other one? dinners we have some mango olive oil shallots jalapenos kale and then a little scale here which shows you the weight of fast food versus the weight of whole foods and the most exciting part about this is they did a little feature on me so they included a little 
description of me and I thought that was really sweet of them to do that. Focus. It is such a beautiful day outside today, so I'm gonna grab all my stuff and go paint at the kitchen table upstairs so I can be right by the doors and hang out with the dog outside a little bit throughout the day. taking a little break with Bella outside right now and the weather is so beautiful. We'll come and just sit out here together, absorb some vitamin D. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed watching my day. Like I mentioned, every day is a little bit different, but for the most part, it's nice to kind of establish a bit of a routine and then follow that. I find having a routine is really important to my success and to my well being. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you next time. Bye.
Jesus.